Hi everyone, it's me. Okay, what are we doing this week? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, we are on week seven of 75, Jamie. I've lost track of the weeks. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie. I'm currently doing my own version of 75 hard with some more relaxed, doable rules or guidelines. I'll put them on the screen here just so you have a reference of what I'm doing. And I'm like about at the halfway mark. Feeling pretty good about it. It hasn't been too much of a challenge, honestly, kind of by design. It's more like guidelines of what I strive to do all the time anyways, with maybe a little bit of extra push so yeah it's been pretty good and also today is a very exciting day because today is the last day of the Caroline Gervin Beast Mode program from her CGX app and then after this we're gonna be done that program and we'll be free to try other things again so this weekly vlog I think is gonna be a little different just because the workouts and all that is gonna be a bit different this week and I'm gonna show you how I deal with coming off a program, how much like rest for example I give myself and what I do for, I don't know, recovery, bouncing back, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, that's this week. We do have our final Beast Mode program workout to do today and knowing Caroline it's probably going to be a tough one. <laughs> so yeah, it's full body. I think we're doing circuits today but honestly don't know what else to expect other than that so let's go you guys 10 weeks later and we are done with the program honestly that wasn't like the most fun for the finale <laughs> today we did circuit so there were two circuits that we repeated four times each and like you guys all know by now that circuits are just like not the most fun format for me so i am a little disappointed that that's how we ended but i still feel good and overall obviously it was an amazing workout we actually did like a mixture of strength and cardio there so it wasn't like fully cardio which was actually good because caroline's cardios are super hard <laughs> but yeah we're done and i think for the rest of the week i want to take it easy i'm like debating whether or not i want to do a full rest day tomorrow or do like a stretch day or something like that just because i feel like my body really needs a stretch at this point but then i'm also like should i take a full rest day i don't know we'll see first things first what do we want for breakfast double roasted hazelnuts with dark chocolate coating Maybe as a pre-breakfast, but what's for actual breakfast? <laughs> you love eggs, so... I do love eggs, it's true. Okay. You guys, we're already running low on this AG1 that Linda gave us. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to buy my own greens again. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I don't know what brand to try next though, or like if I should go back to Alani New, because I didn't mind those. I really still want to try Bloom, but I just like, I can't pay like 20 to $30 for shipping. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, this is breakfast. Have some scrambled eggs with shallots and Hungarian sausage and just some microgreens on the side. Very simple, but delicious, I'm sure. Mmm, mm -hmm. delicious for sure. Our greens go like extra fast now because fiance has them like pretty regularly too now so it's like both of us having them and they go so quick now because before i used to buy like one a month because it's like generally like 30 servings per container but now we both have them so we have to buy like multiple a month because fiance is that girl now <laughs> I am about to go out. We're actually gonna have a barbecue with fiance's dad today, which is super fun. I wanted to take a second to talk about BetterHelp. And I did forget to mention this, but BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video. I love you, BetterHelp. <laughs> and if you don't know what BetterHelp is yet, they are an online therapy service. They're actually the world's largest online therapy service. And I absolutely love them because I personally have been helped so immensely by this service. Therapy is absolutely amazing if you've never tried it before. And I feel like BetterHelp is just 
such an awesome, easy, accessible way to get into therapy and try it if you're maybe like unsure. It definitely has helped me through some tough situations, some harder times. Just a little more about BetterHelp. They have a huge network of over 25,000 licensed therapists who are all ready to help you with a wide range of issues. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is answer some questions on your preferences, more about you, what you're looking for in therapy, and BetterHelp will use those to match you to the perfect therapist for you. You can then talk to your therapist in a whole bunch of different ways. This is one of my favorite parts about BetterHelp. First method is scheduling video calls. This is probably the most similar to like physical in-person therapy. Second is scheduling phone calls. And then third option is like live texting each other. So you're texting each other, but you schedule a time where like you're both there. So you really are like live time messaging each other. And then on top of that, you can always just send a text to your therapist at any time when you feel the need and want to reach out. If you are not feeling your therapist, you're not vibing, you're not working together very well, you can always switch to another therapist with no additional cost. I love BetterHelp, you guys all know this. <laughs> so if you do want to try BetterHelp, you can get 10% off your first month of therapy using my link betterhelp.com slash jamiefock and that is better H-E-L-L. P. Mental health is so important on top of your physical health and there's a plane outside, but you should definitely check it out. <laughs> Good morning. I have decided that I am going to do a stretch today. I have decided on this 20 minute feel good flow perfect morning stretch by Kaylee Daniels. Noodly breakfast bowl. Yum! I feel like in the past 10 weeks that I've been doing like pure strength training and cardio, I've lost a lot of my flexibility. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not flexible. It's too strong. I would say I'm still like more flexible than the average person just because of like my lifetime of dance experience, but I'm really feeling it. Like I am much more stiff than I was before. So I want to focus on like flexibility, mobility, all that good stuff this week. It's a bit of a break from Caroline craziness. Yeah, with like the higher impact weight training stuff. Do a week of like yoga and Pilates and it'll be good. So I've been reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I'm enjoying it so far, I think. It's pretty good, but this series is like so trendy. Like it's all over everywhere. I'm getting so many recommendations to read it. I actually ended up buying this entire series before reading the first book, which was a little brave on my part, but Indigo was having a huge sale. So I just like, I was like, if I'm gonna buy these books anyways, why not buy them all while they're on sale? So I've been reading this for the past like day and a half and I'm almost done this first book. And yeah, I think it's pretty good so far, but from what I've heard, if you don't know what this book is or what this series is, it's another like romantic fantasy kind of a series. We've got fairies in here. But yeah, apparently from what I've heard, the first book is like the slowest because the author had to do kind of all the world building, setting the environment, the situation we're in. And then apparently at the end of this book and then like the second book, it gets really good. So I'm not like as excited about this as I was when I was reading Fourth Wing, but I'm kind of waiting for that moment when it picks up and I'm sure I'm going to be absolutely obsessed and addicted once we get to that point. <laughs> Today we are having breakfast wraps. It's actually been like a little bit since we've had these. Do you have spicy sauce in yours too? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I'm the spicy one. Fiance is spicy today? I'm not. So in mine I just have eggs, hash brown, sausage, mayo, and ketchup. Oh, so good. Greens of course. I'm gonna dive into these grapes after as well. Fiance was reading uh, bad reviews about fourth wing. Bad? Good. Reads reviews? 
are like so extra. They're so like dramatic. That is a. There are so many. They they like put so much effort into it. They put a lot of effort. Let's Voldemort. No, that's not Voldemort. <laughs> the few people that like didn't like it are like really passionate about not liking it. <laughs> okay, so I finished a quart of thorns and roses yesterday, and I want to talk about my thoughts. I definitely enjoyed it and I'm definitely like intrigued to keep reading more of the story but the book overall definitely was slower especially like in the first 75% of the book. It was pretty slow but like I get it we had to learn more about the world and like how everything works and stuff but it definitely picked up near the end and there were parts in there I was reading and I was like oh my gosh like no way like I was shocked I was surprised things happened I got emotional but yeah I finished that yesterday and now I am reading Mist and Fury, which is the second book of the series. This is a thick puppy. <laughs> 600 yeah it's like over 600 pages long so it's a bigger one yeah, i only just started this last night i literally just read two chapters of it but i do hear from a lot of people that this is most people's like favorite book of the series so i'm pretty excited and yeah i just wanted to like talk to you guys about it because i know a lot of you have read these books too i may say some minor spoilers so if you haven't read these books and don't want like anything spoiled to you skip to this time code we'll be done talking about it then i promise but okay so this is kind of common knowledge but I know everyone hates Tamlin but I don't understand why everyone hates him yet. <laughs> I feel like I read the entire first book, like waiting for Tamlin to do something to make me not like him anymore. But like, I still don't hate him yet. So maybe something happens in the second book. I know that everyone who's watching and has read these books already is probably laughing at me because I know everyone hates Tamlin. I know everyone loves Resand, Rysand. I'm not sure how to say it. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the moment when my brain does the switch because I definitely haven't gotten to that that point in the story yet and like Rhysand has not won me over yet. <laughs> he was kind of like creepy and icky in the first book. I know he had his reasons for doing what he had to do but yeah I know everyone like loves him so we shall see you guys. <laughs> also you know in the first book when Amarantha like gives her riddle the second I read the riddle I knew what the answer was and like I was like this is so predictable I already know what the answer is and the fact that it took the entire rest of the book for Feyre to figure out the answer I was like Girl, come on, it's so obvious. But I know like a big part of her is that she was never educated. She's illiterate, she doesn't know how to read, so riddles must just be harder for her in general. But yeah, that part I was like, girl, just say the word. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to get to work, but I'm probably just gonna spend the entire work day wishing I could read about fairies. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Sage always loves looking out the window in the mornings look. She's so cute. And today for our daily movement, I selected something yesterday. Oh yeah, it's another Kaylee Daniels video because I'm just loving her. But this is a 45 minute reformer style Pilates workout. So if you don't know what reformer Pilates is, it's like, you know that big machine thing? You've probably seen it somewhere. Obviously I don't have a reformer at home, but I've always wanted to try it and Kaylee has a video on her channel or probably multiple where she uses like at home props that you probably have like bands etc to kind of like mimic what you would do on a reformer so yeah that's what I am going to do today and it's 45 minutes long it is a bit longer the past few days I've been doing like shorter flows more like 20 minute videos and then I've just been supplementing that with going on walks outside to make sure I meet that 30 minutes minimum of movement a day for my 75 hard soft challenge but yeah today's movement here is gonna be 45 minutes long so we'll be covered <laughs> okay let's do it That was actually so hard. <laughs> it was so difficult. Like you wouldn't think that you could create so much resistance just using bands like that, but that was tough. And we definitely created a lot more tension than I was expecting to, and in a lot of different and creative ways that I've never done before. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. If you are looking for like a home workout that is like slightly different than what you're used to, like trying to use bands in a different way, for example, definitely try the workout that I did today. As always, I always leave the link to all the workouts I do in the description box 
box. So yeah, definitely check it out. I highly, highly, highly recommend today's workout. It was so good. Anyways, it's kind of like cloudy outside. I think we're gonna have some soup for breakfast. You guys, I lied to everyone. <laughs> Here's the thumbnail. Jamie is a liar. <laughs> we didn't have any of the soup that I wanted to make for breakfast, so I made a noodle bowl instead, which is also comfort food. So as always, I put the ooey egg and mix it into the sauce. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. Good morning. So I didn't film yesterday, but I do have a couple of fun little new things and updates to show you. So first of all, this one's very exciting for me. I got a new iPad! Finally! <laughs> Some of you might have known this because I mentioned it a while ago, but my old iPad, this is like 10 years old, this thing. So whenever I was using this iPad to like do my workouts, like I'd always play my workout videos on here, the YouTube app doesn't even work on this iPad. Like I literally had to use Use Safari to open like the YouTube website and watch YouTube that way and like even then a lot of the stuff was glitchy like the skip ad button wasn't ever working correctly like nothing was working well because this iPad is so old and absolutely zero apps worked on this except for Safari <laughs> so yeah we are retiring this one I actually might keep this one around because sometimes fiance likes to do yoga or workouts like while I'm doing mine in here so we might keep this around just for him to use but I got this new iPad I'm so excited look how beautiful she is she's absolutely stunning I treated myself because it was on sale for Amazon Prime Day it was like hundred and fifty dollars off or something so I was like that is a good sale I'm gonna take advantage of it so yeah that's what I'll be using now to do my workout videos and then my second exciting update Ooh. I got a new bookshelf. <laughs> so I have a bunch of my books on display here. It looks so cute and lovely. I like having some books like Fourth Wing, obviously, one of my favorite books this year. I like having them like facing out so they look nice and you can see them, but like there's nothing behind it. So I could always like hide more books behind that. Also, oh my God, you guys, behind every pretty bookshelf, there is this. <laughs> These books are like random books that I've read but like don't belong anywhere or maybe aren't like as aesthetic. This is an extra copy of Carrie Soto is Back. As you can see, I have one up there. I don't know. I just got two versions for some reason. So if anyone wants that copy and lives like in Toronto-ish, let me know. <laughs> and then down here is my current physical TBR, along with obviously the rest of the Akatar books that I just put out on display, but those are obviously in my TBR as well. And then back to down here, there's a random little charger and a singular 10 pound dumbbell, which I don't know where that came from. I've had it for a long time and there's only one. There is no other 10 pound dumbbell that I have so because it's just a singular dumbbell I usually don't use it because there's only one I just decided to put it at the bottom of my bookshelf to help like make the bottom heavier and stabilize it <laughs> but yeah that's my new bookshelf. I don't know. I'm so excited about it. But this morning I am going to do a weighted yoga workout also from Kaylee Daniels. I think today's video is about 30 minutes long. And also, <laughs> reading update, I'm about halfway through Mist and Fury now. And that character I was talking to you about that I didn't understand why everyone hated, I now understand the hate. And I also hate him. I'm on the hate train and I am now on team the other character without giving away too much if you have not read the books. <laughs> I understand. I'm with you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do some weighted yoga. About you I like. I get you. We are having breakfast wraps again. I put a secret surprise sauce in a fiance's. Let's see if you can guess what I put in. Mmm. <laughs> guys, guys, it's honey mustard. Close. One ingredient, right? Mustard. Mm-hmm. There's three sauces. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Ketchup? Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. Mmm. Three sauce combo. Do you like it? It tastes like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video 
here. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. Coming off of a large, intense 10-week program, it's been really nice doing Pilates again and yoga and also just like more core work. That sounds hard. I love core though. I think, I think core is my weakness. <laughs> Not just sit-ups, but like that Pilates core, like I love it. Like the stabilization and like the, ooh, gets me going. <laughs> fiance is about to do day 13 of Epic Endgame, so go fiance. If you like this video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know what sauces you would put in your breakfast wrap. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and bye! We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> bye!